We do know one of the victims graduated from a Fort Worth high school. And CBS Evening News anchor Scott Pelley is in town with us. Scott, thanks for being here under the circumstances. Obviously, uh, not the best of circumstances. But I understand today you uh, spoke to the father of Patrick Zamaripa. Tell us more. Well, that's right. He was kind enough to speak with us. His name is uh, Rick Zamaripa. He lives uh, just north of Fort Worth. We went by his home today. He was still stunned by the news. He had been at Parkland Hospital last night uh, asking about his son when the doctors finally came in and told them that his 32-year-old boy had not survived. His son, Patrick, had been in the U.S. Navy, had served multiple tours in Iraq. His father told us that he was very worried about him at that point, but wasn't worried when he became a police officer here in Dallas. He said that he wanted to be a police officer because he liked helping people. He really enjoyed the work and told his father several times that, that working in the Dallas police was uh, just his greatest ambition. Uh, he'd even turned down offers to work at federal law enforcement agencies because he was enjoying his work with the Dallas police so much. When I saw that happen on TV, I, I felt something. I knew something had, had happened. You know, I, I had that gut feeling. And when you get those gut feelings, you normally about right. And so after that is when they finally told us, and he's gone. He, The shirt that you saw him wearing, the Dallas Cowboys shirt, was uh, actually a Father's Day present uh, last month from his son. And uh, there are no uh, arrangements that have been made for a funeral yet, Doug, but uh, the family is, is trying to pull together and, and hold each other and create as much strength as they possibly can to get through all the difficult days that are ahead. And we know there's a lot of departments coming together, Scott, and this, uh, this band of blue will come together to support that family as well. Scott Pelley, live downtown Dallas with the broadcast on the road tonight here in North Texas for all the wrong reasons, unfortunately. But, Scott, thank you for being here with the crew.